What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint bringing you a little RDA called Thump. This was manufactured by a company called Thump MFG. This is their first RDA. I know it was showcased at ECC. I did not get to go to ECC, but I figured this would be an awesome product to purchase and share with my viewers. So this does retail for $84.99. I will put a link in the description on where you can get one of these. So without me blabbing a little bit more about this thing, I say we dive down so I can break it down apart for you guys and show you guys this, show you guys this itty bitty little Aeolus slash Derringer baby. So without further ado, let's dive down. Alright guys, here we are with the packaging that the thump comes in. Just slide this little sleeve off. Pop the top off. Get your little bag of goodies here, everybody knows that. Get your grub, grub screws, hex screws, whatever you want to call them, and an allen key. I know a lot of people don't like Allen keys, but hey, at least it holds your stuff and don't back out. So let me go ahead and pop this on my little doodad. It's got a nice brushed stainless steel. It's 304 stainless steel. It is a 22 millimeter diameter RDA. 15.5 millimeters tall it does have dual adjustable airflow it is hard to do without a drip tip so let me plop one on real quick it is really hard to adjust the airflow without a drip tip on it now this is just for dual coils you can't there's no single coil setting for this it's going to be the same on both sides There we go. It is a little snug. Definitely a snug fit. Now, each air hole on the top cap is two millimeters wide. Each one. So, you do have a split positive deck, or split positive. Your deck, your negative deck. Ah! Can't talk today. Negatives are milled into the deck, which is kind of a common thing. We're, we're seeing that in all of them. Post holes are rectangular. If you cannot see, let me move this boxes out of the way and everything. Let's see if I can adjust it here for you guys. Here you go. Nice rectangular. And this is a really, really small deck. Not bad, doing a little juice well on it. Pop it off here. Look how little that little deck is. So tiny. That is why I call it the Derringer slash, slash Aeolus. It's got top airflow. It is slanted just for flavor and cloud production. Now, before I put a build on this and go back to FaceTime and talk a little bit about this, I wanted to kind of show this off to let all my viewers know about this. Whenever you, um, if you got like a favorite drip tip, you know, say like you got a dot mod drip tip right here and you want to put it on there. It does have a little slight overhang. Wide bore drip tips. Uh, let me see here. Another popular one is the two puffs. It has a slight overhang. 
and let me see here Trinity glass drip tip right here don't look too bad but I personally use the vapor shark uncrustable short version I do like this it's not bad I would recommend like a Delrin or some kind of drip tip because it, your drip tip will get really really hot but that's the up close you guys um I mean put a build in this and we'll go back to FaceTime and I'll tell you all about it all right guys that was a look at the thump brought you up close I brought you all the th information that I could possibly give you I have not had no problems building on this device I've have tried a few Clapton's in it and it is kind of a snug fit but other than that I really haven't had no issues uh, I know when you have this thing wide open airflow it does tend to whistle uh, let me see here let me go ahead and all right hear that see now I'm just pointing this out to you now in order to get the whistling to kind of stop you got to kind of cut it off I cut it about halfway now it doesn't whistle now what I do have a issue with is that you know I don't like the whole it does whistle when I have it wide open airflow I also don't like that I can't put my like wide board drip tips on it or say you got one of those what is that uh, third eye drip tips uh, that's not gonna work because it's just gonna look funny me and to me I don't know about everybody else but my mod is all about looks and I like to match everything and I want everything to look good not only that but I also like wide board drip tips because it makes it easier to drip into now I love that they did a top airflow feature on a small RDA I really like that that to me is a big plus because I am a big fan of top airflow even though I do tend to end up putting more juice in it than is required so I end up getting a lot of spit back uh, I have received spit back on this device but not as bad as I did like on the Derringer so the top airflow does kind of mute that a little bit but it's still you, you gotta kinda paint it on or you're gonna have to drip a little bit more you know you're gonna have to constantly take it off and redrip and all that but I mean for their first RDA I gotta admit they did a really good design I, like I said when I washed it it was only a quick wash it was real clean so I mean I have no real issues with it and now would I go out and buy it if I lost this thing again no I wouldn't but that's just that's just because I'm not a big fan of the short RDAs it's just to me it's like spitback city so I I'm not a real big fan of them so I personally just bought this one personally just so I could just kinda show it to you guys cuz I kinda figured this would be a good RDA and a lot of you guys would like it cuz I know a lot of people like the short RDAs I'm just not a fan of it and that's just my personal opinion but overall the flavor is awesome in it it does have good ah, good cloud production so I say go for it you guys if you guys are in the market for a short or shorty RDA kind of like the Derringer and you're into that kind of thing this RDA might be for you I mean you don't have to worry about it leaking out of the sides so without further ado thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe like Leave a comment if you have any questions and I will f I will be more than happy to answer any questions that you have for me. Thanks guys.